What's going on YouTube and Reaction Gang? It's Trident 117 back again with another Music Degree Reactions, guys. Today we're going to be continuing on the series of the most highly requested songs from my Instagram, my Twitch, and then here in the comment section of my YouTube channel. So for all the new people, a couple quick things before we go ahead and get started. Um, it's called Music Degree Reactions because I have my music degree framed right behind me. A little bit of background about me. I was a drumline captain at the high school and university I attended. So I talk about things that no other reaction channel talks about. So one, yes, I talk about lyrics. I break down what they're saying. But that's what the easy stuff, right? And that's what every other reaction channel talks about. What I do is on top of that, I incorporate all of the music, the instrumentation, and the background, and I guess knowledge of what the music producers intended for each of one of these songs. So I'm super excited to get this one started, guys. It's Yellow Wolf Best Friend featuring Eminem. Again, this was another highly requested one. Apparently, it's one of Eminem's best verses of all time. So we're going to go ahead and get it started. See you guys on the other side. All I ask is that if you guys learned anything new, if I teach you guys something that you just didn't know before, join my, join on the journey with me. Um, subscribe, hit that like button, and let's go ahead and get it started, guys. Ooh. Yeah. This is a different vibe than I thought it was going to be. Mm, okay, this is a different vibe, 100% than I thought it was going to be. I already like, so... It's like um, coming from, basically from the music producer standpoint, it's kind of coming from an electrical piano in the back. It goes, and then you do a little, um, basically you mess with a little switch and you can, one, make it quieter and at the same time make it shake a little bit. That's pretty cool. And then the, so it's basically like a percussion through a walkie-talkie, not literally, but it sounds like it's coming through a walkie-talkie. Um, and it's just really echoey right now, right? It's not like the actual beat. It's more like a ghost of a beat or like um, the echo of a beat. That's really, really cool. That's a different vibe. Let's go. That's an electric guitar. Yeah, there's so many instruments. Let's go. That's like a DJ sound. I hear electrical guitar. I hear a regular guitar. Here's the... It's the DJ. Nice. Oh, jump up, jump up. That too, jump up, jump up. Again, it's all like DJ sound. This is like a really electrical... Um, that's a lot of stuff from the music producer right there. I like it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, before we even get this verse started, how it starts, it's a heavy bass where the, the drum set comes in, and then at the same time, the acoustic guitar comes in, which is basically not electrical, you don't plug it in, it's just regular guitar like we see in country songs and stuff, and at the same time, that's cool, listen to that drop right there. Okay. I walk through hell almost every night. But I believe it's a pathway. Okay, I like this. This is gonna be what a spiritual song? This is gonna be where we take a step back and we evaluate ourselves as people. Let's go. Say boy, what you do and with your life <clears throat> with those tattoos on the face. And it's he has a he has a like a nice melodic line going. Um ba ba da ba ba da ba but ba 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 da ba ba da ba that's three, three times already. That's cool, man. That's cool. Let's go back a little bit. Days, I walk through hell almost every night. But I believe it's a pathway. Okay. Say, boy, what you doing with your life? With those tattoos on your face. Yeah, yeah, because tattoos are going, um, I guess, like, like maybe Christian religions or... Um, uh, tattoos are just not really shunned upon, but they're not recommended, I guess, in a lot of religions. So, okay, he's going against the grill. He's going against what people are telling him that he should do. Okay, I dig that. I dig it so far. Say, boy, you know. And the, the, uh, for the music standpoint, it's kind of staying the same right now. You just got a beautiful acoustic guitar going on. That's a beautiful melody in the back. And then you just have a nice heavy bass, which honestly doesn't really mesh well that much but in this case it really does you have like a really heavy percussion and then a beautiful guitar that's cool say boy what you doing with your life with those tattoos on your face say boy you know 
Yeah. <laughs> Again, so I've talked about this a lot, guys. And what I, I one of the big things that I've been trying to introduce you guys, just step by step. The number one thing is when you want to understand um, music and what, what the artists want you to kind of um, digest as they go on is that there's a lot of things that they, they introduce a beat. That's why I love talking about the beat. They introduce a flow. They introduce a message right at the beginning. It's all emotions, right? But that right there when it goes, bah, 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 that is a end of that phrase of music. So when he started to that point was a chunk of music. We're going to call that a phrase of music. And all that means is just one idea, one emotion, one flow usually. Uh, Eminem doesn't really follow those rules. But in this case, that was. That was all one idea. And he goes, blah, blah, blah. But the father, the son, something like that. Um, that's a whole different phrase of music. He's changing his flow. He's changing uh, pretty much everything, right? Maybe changing his message, possibly. But when they introduce new sounds to you guys like that or to us like that, they introduce new sounds, new ad libs, whatever it is, it's a different phrase of music usually. Or they want you to, they want to get you ready, your brain and your mind ready for the next phrase of music. When I hit that way. See, different. Ooh. Okay, and then they then they add like a beautiful violin in the back, and that's the same time. Yeah, this is a completely different phrase. But the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, mm, I hold you near, mm, my best. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a beautiful, really low, not violin, I guess, because that's technically the wrong instrument. Think of like a really big violin. It's either a bass or a cello. Really deep, but I could tell it's a string instrument. Um, just providing such a big foundation. You got the electronics all in the background that they introduced in the very beginning. And now they're combining that with the melody that they introduced when Yellow Wolf came, came in. Nice. See, I was wondering if he's going to start rapping, but maybe not. But I dig that he has like a fast singing voice. And I always talk about like if I were to ever release music, not that I wanted to be something like this, but I love how he's incorporating rap technically with singing. Dude, that's just so beautiful. Like that's like, that's big brain, what I like to call here on the channel. It's, um, takes a lot of thought. It, it takes a lot of thought to, to be able to combine different kinds of music. It's just a lot of brain power, you know? So. Dude, this is this is so beautiful, man. His mannerisms and how you can tell he's talking from the heart right now. I love this. Yep. Again, that same instrument. Uh, yes, yeah, same instrument, but same chord progression where it's like three or four notes. Those are just the same four notes, and that's gonna provide the musical foundation for probably the his next verse or not his next verse, his next phrase of music right here. So again, the I could tell the music is getting a little bit louder. It's probably building up to M's verse. I don't I don't know, but I'm assuming it is. Right now it's really starting to take root. The music is not backing off like I expected it to. It stayed heavy. Um, yeah, we'll see. He's, try hard to respect people from he's he's in, trying to expect them from people from like his his voice is getting a little bit faster. You could tell they're trying to change the emotion sl slowly but surely. Yeah, dude, that was cool. Right when he said, "And when you spit on my grave," um, there was a really deep. Oh, listen for that real quick. That's that's. That's how his words coincide or relate to the music, and it honestly affects your brain before you even hear it. And it's really, really cool. They Listen. In, but if you spit on my yeah. Brain, and wish me heaven, I wish you the bass. Yep. Repeat. Yo, this is solid. I guess I know Yellow Wolf's a good rapper. I guess he's not gonna rap much. He's probably gonna leave all the room. For Eminem, but yo, this is sick. This is just a really solid beginning of a song. It's just a beautiful song. Best you know? friend, best friend. 
glow with your appearance I can almost hear it My best friend When you wish me hell upon my soul and spirit Yeah, the music video is getting a little more intense He's walking into a church Behold these lyrics I got a best friend Yeah, I got a best friend Yeah Oh, shit Oh all right, I'm good. I'm just so nervous. Yo, you guys really hyped this verse up, so I gotta deliver. Hey, I got a best friend, best friend. Yeah. God, please, would you arm me with the armor to call me when it's drama like Gandhi? Could have gone the other way, many times could have turned Dali with the llama, but I squashed my. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so. We'll start off in the beginning, okay? <laughs> Let's take that step by step. So, his rhythm, and why I really, really like, is that Yellow Wolf introduces rhythm a couple of times, and then Eminem just freaking goes for it and attacks it. So, I've talked to this, I've talked to you guys about this um, before. 16th notes, okay? Just so you guys know, this is like all musical language. 16th notes is when you fit four notes into one beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, my best friend. You go one two three four 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 take it take it take it take it. So when he goes gong beans get the gong get the bean but a bomb bee but a bomb bomb but a bomb but a bomb bomb. He goes da um bomb bomb. He goes sixteenth notes to eighth notes where eighth notes are only two and sixteenth notes are twice as fast. So you have eighth notes one two. So one two one two one two one two. Sixteen notes are twice as fast. You just fit one here and one there. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But you can still feel the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It, they coincide. They're the, kind of the same thing. Sixteen notes are just twice as fast, all right? He, Eminem is going back and forth between sixteenth notes and eighth notes. ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 da ba When I'm going faster, those are sixteenth notes. ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 Those are all, so that's cool. That's sick already. I, I didn't hear what he said. God please would you arm me with the armor to call me when there's drama like Gandhi. God please will you arm me with the armor to call me uh, this, why there's drama. The Gandhi of the way many times. Like Gandhi, you should have Gandhi of the way. Please would you arm me with the armor to call me when there's drama like Gandhi. Could have Gandhi of the way many times could have turned Dali with the llama but I squash my. Oh my god. So like uh, arm me with the armor. When there's drama, should have gone like Gandhi. Should have gone the other way when there was drama, or it would have turned into Ali. Yo, <laughs> but he squashed my beats. Gandhi could have gone the other way many times. Could have turned Ali with the llama, but I squashed my beats. And things seem to be looking decent recently, but don't. So right there, okay, I'm not gonna pause too much. Let's let's listen. Times could have turned Ali with the llama, but I squashed my beats. And things seem to be looking decent recently, but don't jinx it. It's like Clint Eastwood looking for peace, though maybe not finna in a. Oh my God! So right there, I call that a rhythmic change, right? So he went gama zana ba ba da ba mi ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ali ba da ba zan mas mas ma beast and look at me beast be be da ba dee be right there. He doesn't. He's not staying nice and square on the beat where it divides into two. Now he's going off of basically generalized triplets. And triplets are where you fit three notes. In this case, three syllables, three words, whatever it is. Three notes into one beat. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, my best friend, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, gonna ba da ba bang. And beats and beats and beats, 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 beam, 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 beam. Right? And that's kind of the, the it, it's really funky. Beam, 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 beam. That's kind of the type of flow that he's going for. And that's just more of a rounded type of triplet feel. I don't know what the words are, so it's kind of hard for me to mimic it, but I kind of know the general rhythmic intent that he's doing. Seem to be looking decent recently, but don't jinx it. Like See, it's a little, a little more open. Dali with the llama, but I squash my beats and things seem to be looking decent recently, but don't jinx it. Like Clint Eastwood looking for peace, though maybe not finna in the priesthood, but at least should make an attempt to show some remorse. Oh, like, like Flint Eastwood, because didn't he leave uh, the NFL to become a priest or something like that? That's crazy. Not a preacher, but a shit starter. Not a preacher, but a shit starter. mind of a thick skin, but a short tipper. This is a minus, thinner than twine is when I get a text, so I might say something back that might offend you. So if you don't like when I rap, oh my god, yo, this is so sick, dude. So in the very beginning, it's a really choppy flow, and honestly, I can really, I can visualize it. Um, I really want to make some of these videos where I actually write it out for you guys That's something that I'm gonna have to maybe mess around with and try and get out to you guys so You can actually read it and you can see what the lyrics under it 
But basically, it's really choppy. But it's still, I mean, it's choppy, but you know what I mean. It's still flowing because it's Eminem. But the way that he's doing it, he's breaking it up. And so you can go like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But he's going like one, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. But so ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. So he's making basically like a melody with all of the accents that he's doing. He's bringing out some syllables and keeping others in the background. I like in my speedum video, I kind of like to talk about that as like throwaway syllables. Like when you say neighborhood, like you don't you mainly say hood, but you don't say neighbor that much. Neighborhood, neighborhood, neighbor is kind of like a like throwaway syllables, and hood is just the, where you put emphasis on it, right? So now he's messing around with it. He's going neighborhood, neighborhood, neighborhood. And he's basically doing that and making different rhythms out of that from different words, but you guys know what I mean. That's crazy. Just jump into the mind of would look up a piece, though maybe not finna enter the priesthood, but at least should make an attempt to show some remorse in the beast, some sort of repenter for the preacher, but a bit of a right. So that's how I know he's gonna finish it. Maybe not finna enter the priesthood, but at least should make an attempt to show some remorse in the beast, some sort of repenter for the people that have been a minister, not a preacher, but a shit starter and finish up into the mind of a he go, better, better, find this, better, better. So here's the. He goes, better, better, ba. Those are called upbeats, right? So I talked about that before, where you have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. He, but you see how I'm accenting with one, one, two, one, two, one, two, because it's on the downbeat. Now think about this: one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Theater, bit of a mine. See how it's the same thing? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, 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 two. Anyway, shade of a mine is think, and then short step or short temper, thick, thick skin, short temper, whatever he says. That's what he's doing. He's messing around with the beat. He's basically accenting or bringing out everything except the down beat. He's going two, three, two, three, three, two, 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 three. He's doing anything except on the beat, which is freaking crazy because most rappers, most artists like to stay on the beat. That's what we call home. He's doing everything but that. It's fucking, but that's so but funny. I've been a minister, not a preacher, but a shit starter and finish up in the mind of a thick skin, but a short tipper. This patience of mine is thinner than twine is when I get a text, so I might say something back that might offend you. So if you don't like when I rap. And then now we're back at home. Bona Nuna introducing the chord, just like Yellow ver uh, like Yellow Wolf's verse when they first started. Now it's gonna he's gonna have more of a flowy verse. He's gonna it's gonna fill out the notes a little bit, and he's just gonna go. Then with twine it. is when I get a text, so I might say something back that might offend you. So if you don't like when I rap, but I have to say on the mic, then you might wanna act just like quarterbacks and take a fucking hike when I snap, cause I'm a sinner and I got a miss. If you don't like what I have to say, then you better take a hike like quarterbacks when I snap because I'm a sinner. Oh my god. That's a thick freaking bar, dude. Because he's in a church, right? So it's taking place in a church. He's saying you better take a hike like quarterbacks because quarterbacks hike the football. Again, going back to the Flint. Uh, Flint Eastwood line where he went and left to be a priest staying on the football idea better take a hike like quarterbacks when I'm a snap because um, the center snaps like a center but the center of the football position but a sinner because he's a and he snaps mentally and he commits violence because he's a sinner Oh yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Oh, yo. <laughs> yes. So my favorite, just so you guys probably don't freaking care, but my favorites are triplets. But more importantly, my favorites are six tuplets, which are the same things where I talked about eighth notes and sixteen notes are twice as fast. For triplets, you're fitting three in one beat, and six tuplets are when you're doubling it. So you have one, two. Three, four, five, six. Instead of triple lit. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. I can't say it that fast. You fit in six. That's what he just did right there. And holy crap, that's fast. And they never been yes, mean. They gon' tell me when I'm fucking up the minute. I'm ever giving it less. Then I'm about to vomit and I can fail it. Coming cause fail it's something I can barely stomach. Can I only listen to my guts? So unless you're my fucking belly button, don't tell me not doing my best. I listen to my guts when I'm on belly button. Don't tell me nothing, dude. Or unless you're my belly button. Holy crap. But again, he's filling up the notes with six tuplets with really fast triplets. 
And then you have a beautiful piano accompanying back on top of that acoustic guitar. It's also, pianos are raw. That's what I like to describe it as. Somebody plays that, okay? It's not like um, back in the 70s, you like hit a button, it goes, no, 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 no. Like someone's actually playing this piano. Someone's actually playing that guitar. So you have all these raw people made sounds on top of him just freaking rapping, dude. That's good. Tell me what I'm fucking up the minute I'm ever giving it less. Then I'm about to vomit and I can feel it coming because failure is something I can barely stomach. I'm about to vomit? Listen to my guts and unless you're my fucking belly button, don't tell me. Not doing my best. I'm going to vomit when I think about what defeat or um, I'm going to vomit because he can't stomach. Oh, shit. I don't know what he said, defeat or loss or whatever he said, but he can't, he can't stomach it. So unless you're his belly button, don't tell me nothing. Tell me when I'm fucking up the minute I'm ever giving it less Then I'm about to vomit and I can fail Failure coming, Cause failure's something there I can barely stomach And I only listen to my gut So unless you're my fucking belly button Don't tell me Not doing my ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba So ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba uh -huh. That's what he did, dude. And that's, again, not on the beat. That's why it sounds disgusting when I say it. But because he has words on top of the instruments accompanying him, it all makes sense. Unless you're my fucking daily button, don't tell me. Not the mop. This is my belly but Don't tell me. Not the mop. It sounds so disgusting when I say it by myself. But it's because he has so much, it's such a huge support system. And because he knows how to make it flow. And he's not really being super art like articulate. Like uh, He's not placing it. With a, like a lot of intent, he's kind of just rapping with his own rhythm, and that's where it's falling. Does that make sense? But anyway, let's keep going. Best friend, best friend. Who you think I'm talking about? List me up when I'm down and out. Still up to him without a doubt. Still got a Dude, Yellow looks just watching from the pew. That's freaking sick. And I'm assuming he's talking about Proof, his homie. Back in the day, man. I've seen a lot of those old videos. Those were that was those. Yeah, man. Best friend, best friend. Like there's never been a loud amount. Should've never been a Oh my god. See, you can tell that he's in the in the production side of this because, man, he's into it. He knows where the sounds are. He knows where all of this is. Yo, I have a feeling that we haven't even gotten started yet. Let's go. Take the flock, black shepherds, the black sheep, but I'll be the worst thing that these motherfuckers ever heard. Woo! You be D-O-A, that announcement pronounced you gay when they sound it out. To prepare for arrival, your arch enemy surrounds you now. He's all around you. Not even the doctors at the hospital are going to shiggy shock you back to life. Isn't piggy possible to revive you? That's hard to the diggy dots, diggy stops, and it's not a I'm the Iggy Pop of a Pop. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm the Iggy Pop of a Pop. Who the hell raps like that, dude? I'm the Iggy Pop of a Pop. Again, that's exactly what I was talking about. Where you have neighborhood, neighborhood, neighborhood. I'm the Iggy Pop of a Pop. He goes, neighborhood, neighborhood. I'm the Iggy Pop of a Pop. And those again, those are triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh my god. And again, he starts that idea way before that. Hey, when I'm uh, not even the doctors at the hospital are gonna shake shock you back to life just to pick your boss, but they're not, but the pick your pop. He's all around you, not even the doctors at the hospital are gonna shake shock you back to life just to pick possible to revive you. That's hard to the diggy dots, diggy stop. Those are just six. It's not an option, something I'm not gonna do. I'm the Iggy Pop of it, but when I walk in the boot dog, I'm the truth like Biggie Rockin' with Tupac and a soup talk and a proof drop and a deuce fill up a syllable clip like a refillable script cock and a shoot. Oh my god! Let's we're listening to this all the way through. I'm gonna say that I'm something I'm not gonna do. I'm the Iggy Pop of it, but when I walk in the boot dog, I'm the truth like Biggie Rockin' with Tupac and a soup talk and a proof drop and a deuce fill up a syllable clip like a refillable script cock and a shoot. Who you think's my block that I use that I pull from to get my strength up against these haters and they'll be waiting at the gate when you get sprayed up sitting you hold straight up to do with my best friend oh my god oh my god so i'm gonna show you guys another rhythmic change that he did in there that really hit me like i'm oh, i started crying dude <laughs> like i really for real am the the most part where like this is like really getting to me is mainly on the rhythm when you're doing three or four different things at the same time and, and this is why this is like this is why I started this channel because if you guys understood the underlying like actual like verbiage like what he's actually doing from a musical standpoint, dude, these songs would hit so much different. Check this out, real quick. Let me play it. Oh my god! Proof, proof, dropping a deuce because wasn't deuce like a. 
Oh, dude, that's so sad. Isn't Deuce... Wasn't Deuce like another uh, name for proof or something when you say drop a Deuce? Because they dropped him, dude. Fuck. Oh, my God. So... He goes on the Iggy pop of a pop and a dump and a shoop chop and a choop chop and a soup top and a pop. And then right there he goes, but it was silly, clip like a refillable script, pop and a shoop. Boom. He goes, he's staying square, is what I talked about earlier in the video. Dump at the top of the top. Or he's saying, uh, choop chop and a soup chop and a doop top and a poop pop and a dut dut, but it was silly, clip like a refillable script, pop and a shoop. But he goes from eighth notes, sixteenth notes to triplets. But a 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 and a book bar, but a book bar, but a book bar, and then, and then, and then, a fillable syllable clip, like a refillable script, clock and a shoot. Boom! That's so sick, dude. Rockin' with two pock and a soup talk and a proof drop and a deuce clip, like a syllable clip, like a refillable script, clock and a shoot. You know things, my. And again, to accompany that triplet, the bass goes boom, 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 and a shoot. God, that's so crazy, dude. Talk and a proof drop and a deuce fill up a syllable clip, like a refillable script, clock and a shoot. You know things, my clock that I use that I pull from to get my strength up against these haters and they'll be waiting at the gate when you. And of course, I didn't forget it where he brought up Tupac and Biggie, dude, and it all just relates to proof because they all died from being involved in hip hop. What the hell? <laughs> Don't I can shoot. You know things my clock that I use that I pull from to get my strength up against these haters and they'll be waiting at the gate when you get sprayed up sitting you hold straight up to do with my best Oh, that reminds me of the end of the speed. I'm like, bop, 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 boom, and he's done. Like, what? It's all the same, um, same note, and he's just moving the syllables. Bop, 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 on your way straight up to see his best friend where you going to heaven dude these haters and he be waiting at the gate when you get sprayed up sitting you hold straight up to do with my best friend he's gonna because he's gonna spray you with the pistol and he'll see you and you'll see proof up at the gate after he sprays you with the pistol that he protects himself oh my god oh my god Dog, I'm gonna cry, bro. That was good, man. That was good. Let's go back. Let's just finish listening to it, dude. I want to hear that all the way through. Nope. Still, dude, he went on for that long. All right, let's go. Let's go. When his drama like Gandhi could have gone the other way many times could have turned Ali with the llama but I squash my new face when things seem to be looking decent recently but don't jinx it it's like Clint Eastwood looking for peace though maybe not finna enter the priesthood but at least should make an attempt to show some remorse and to be some sort of repenter for the people I've been a minister not a preacher but a shit starter and finish up into the mind of a thick but a short tipper this patience of mine is thinner than twine is oh his patience is thinner this patience of mine is thinner than twine <laughs> Get a text so I might say something back that might offend you. So if you don't like when I rap, what I have to say on the mic, the melody? I want to act just like quarterbacks and take a fucking hike when I snap because I'm a sinner. I don't got a best friend. My balls and intestines. And they never been yes men. They gon' tell me when I'm fucking up the minute. I'm ever giving it less than I'm about to vomit and I can fail it. Coming because failure is something I can barely stomach. And I only listen to my gut. So unless you're my fucking belly button, don't tell me. Not doing my best. Dude, oh my gosh. Who do you think I'm talking about? Again, the bass is keeping it down. And he's just going at it. I'm talking about list me up when I'm down and out. Still up to him without a doubt. Still got a best friend. Shout it out. Like there's never been a loud amount. Should have never been a loud amount. Now that I got a higher power, now with a blackout power out is loud. Okay, before we go into this next part, he goes, never been a loud amount. He, he, he's doing a rhythm that's going like up, up, and then the next part he starts up and he goes down. He goes, never been allowed a mop. Should have been allowed a mop, ma, 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 Dude. Now he's all around you. 
So when he says, prepares you now, when the dog, it's all around you now, he's getting ready for that rhythm. Now he's going to come continue with that rhythm and he's going to end his whole verse with that. Not even the doctors at the hospital are going to shiggy shock you back to life. Just not piggy possible to revive you. That's hard to the diggy guys, diggy stop. And it's not an option, stuff that I'm not going to do. I'm the Iggy yeah. Pop of hip hop when I walk in the booth. Dog, I'm the truth like Biggie rocking with Tupac and a soup talk and a proof. Dropping a deuce, fill up a syllable clip like a refillable script cock and a shoot. Who you think's my clock that I use that I pull from to get my strength up against these haters? And he'll be waiting at the gate when you get sprayed up, sitting you home straight up to deal with my best friend. Oh my god. That's so good, bro. I'm done. I'm calling it, dude. That was so sick. Uh, is it just the verse, the chorus? Yeah. Spring. Yeah, I'm freaking done, dude. My head hurts. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. Definitely one of M's best verses, dude. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Please comment down other stuff you guys want me to react to in the comments. Hit up that Twitch and Instagram, guys. I'm actually going to be streaming a little bit after I post this video. So we'll be able to hang out and uh, just chill together. Track 117 on Twitch. Make sure you guys go follow it. Um, I'd really appreciate any kind of support on there. I'm in the middle of a few different projects right now. So I think it'll be a good time for all of us to hang out and get to know each other. Um... I'm calling it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for talking music with me. And always, guys, stay true, stay you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.